Welcome to First This, a short mindfulness practice and message for any time. I'm Catherine Nikolai. I'm glad you're here. Let's start by getting comfortable. You can sit or lie down or slide your legs up a wall. Just adjust your body so that you can be mostly still for the next few minutes. You can even pause this if you need to and start it again when you're ready. Once you're there, let's take a deep breath in through your nose and sigh it out through your mouth. Nice. Let's do one more. Breathe in and out. Good. Now for the next minute or two, your only job is to notice the touch of your breath on your upper lip. See if you can feel it right now. It might be subtle. Natural breath coming in and going out. you might notice that it feels slightly cooler as it enters your nostrils and a little warmer as it goes out. As soon as you realize your mind has moved somewhere else, see if you can, without starting a story about why, it doesn't matter why, just go back to noticing the very next breath. And the one after that. Don't force, just allow. I breathe in and I notice it. I breathe out and I'm aware. Now let that awareness of breath move into the background of your mind and senses. And let's bring up the lights on this simple idea I have for you today. It's a technique for managing a long to-do list for staying calm and focused when you feel overwhelm creeping up. It's very simple and it goes like this. First this, then that. First this, then that. When there's a lot to do, it's easy to shut down. 
to not know where to start or how to proceed. In that moment, try saying to yourself, first this, then that. And maybe you start with the most manageable task. Something you can do without a huge effort. And when it's done, will give you a little boost of energy and momentum. And then say it again, first this, and then that, and work on the next bit. Let me also remind you that how much you get done in a day has nothing to do with your value as a person. Some days you can't get anything done. Those days happen. And when they do, you are still worthy and valuable. So be gentle with yourself. Shift this idea back in your mind. And again, just notice the natural movement of your breath. The touch of it on your upper lip. It's always there, just waiting to steer you back home. Mind wanders. Course correct. Just pivot your attention back to the small space below the tip of your nose and above the base of your upper lip. few more moments here. Wherever your mind just was already doesn't matter. Just noticing breath coming in and going out. Now to finish. Bring your hands together in front of you and start to rub them back and forth. Go a bit faster. Get some heat and friction going between your palms. Then take a deep breath in through your nose. And as you sigh, place hands over eyes. Feel the warmth soothing the muscles of your face. Massage a bit with your fingertips around your temples and the joint of your jaw. Then, as if you were shampooing, work your fingertips into your scalp. Let it feel good. We're waking you back up the way everyone likes to be awoken, gently and gradually. Now one more big breath and let it go. 
good.